the mission of the hematology service at the Hôpital Universitaire de Genève called HUG is to offer uh, care to uh, hematological uh, patients with non-malignant and malignant uh, diseases as well as being the center uh, for allogeneic stem cell transplantation for the French-speaking part of Switzerland called Romandie. The program is a combined adult pediatric and the main strength of the program is to be engaged for a lifelong follow-up of the patient in, who are in need and who are in difficult situation and there is a good coordination uh, of all this organization to be able to follow patients which are coming from 200 kilometers away. Our patients are hospitalized mainly for acute leukemia treatment or allogenic transplantation, or complications of transplantation, or CAR-T therapy. Our center has a long background in partial T-cell depletion, where a part of the graft is T-cell depleted by aletuzumab in the bag. We still use this method in case of malignant disease with low risk of relapse, chronic myeloid leukemia, and aplastic anemia with excellent results. In parallel, we rapidly adopted the emerging post-transport cyclophosphamide, not only in the haploidetical setting, but also in patients with mismatched unrelated donors. Having at our disposal different options in terms of cellular therapy, conditioning regimen, T-cell depletion strategies, help us to develop a personalized treatment plan for every patient. At the Diagnostics Unit, our main aim is to bring together the results from different analyses to characterize the leukemic cells, because before giving a specific treatment, we have to be sure about the type of leukemia or the type of lymphoma the patient suffers from. One of the methods which we use in our unit is flow cytometry, which is a technique where we can look at the surface of the cells to see whether there are some specific markers which are present or not. And these markers can be markers for treatment because they constitute targets for specific treatments or they can be prognostic markers telling us how the disease develops, if it is a very aggressive disease or if it is rather a slowly evolving indolent disease. The group is mainly interested in immune recovery, post-transplantation and cellular uh, therapy and also uh, in decrease uh, the incidence of graft versus host disease called GVHD. The patient after transplant faces a high risk of infection and we know that this immune defect is due to immunosuppressive drugs but also to the slow reconstitution of T-cell diversity after transplant. And to phase that, we developed a phase one study where we will look at the effect of infusing a naive T-cell depleted lymphocyte infusion to the patient two to three months after transplant. So with this pilot study, we hope to be able to show that uh, infusing naive T-cell depleted lymphocyte is an efficacy and safety strategy to improve immune reconstitution with no additional risk of graft versus host disease. The biggest challenge is for the patients who are going uh, with the transplant today is when they leave the hospital. What we are going now to develop is uh, rehabilitation. When the patient leaves the hospital, we look to have some center for the rehabilitation just to help patients in the transition from the hospital to the uh, home. And with physical uh, rehabilitation and also recommendation to avoid uh, infections. And with that period, we think that it will be better for them and more easy to go home. This is very important to help patients to find the way to cure, not only at the physical level, but also the psychological help and support that the team can give to them. We see the patient less frequency, but still regularly until five years after transplant. 
and after that time we continue with a uh, lifetime annual checkup to uh, detect any late complication. Outside of the inpatient stays, uh, I've had regular contacts with the uh, doctors to check on my general health as a result of the leukemia diagnosis. It's important to have uh, the specialised care and support at HUG to help alleviate uh, stress, mental illness and physical illness as well. Future work will explore more sophisticated donor choice criteria, improved conditioning and GVHD treatment, and of course, intelligent graphs engineering to reduce GVHD risk while preserving GVL effect. So in our group, we are uh, trying to understand mechanisms of resistance to CAR T cell therapy. Uh, we are working on patient samples and uh, preclinical models uh, of lymphoma to understand why certain patients respond to treatment and why others are resistant to treatment. The major limitations that uh, uh, we are facing to move to allogenic CAR T cells are the risk of inducing graft versus host disease, GVHD, and the risk of rejection of CAR T cells by the host immune system. To circumvent these two limitations, we are exploiting invariant natural killer T cells. INKT as a platform for CAR T cell generation. The generation of CAR INKT will allow uh, us to use allogenic CAR without any risk of inducing GVHD and with strong immunoregulatory potential. Our hope is to integrate now personalized medicine to help to improve uh, transplantation strategy and cellular therapy. I think that individual choice of each modality for each patient has to be our everyday priority.